Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the past progressive tense in Spanish, which if you know it, it's with the ing just in the past tense, like estaba haciendo. Okay, so I'm going to start with a quick review of the present progressive, and this is when an action is currently going on, so it's like ing, if you know in English, so I'm walking to the mall, you are currently on the way to the mall, as you say it, so you add this ing, and that's essentially what the original present progressive tense is, and you make it for AR verbs, you do a star in the infinitive, but then get rid of the AR and add ondo. For ERIR, you do use a star, infinitive, and get rid of the ERI and add endo. So you probably already learned that, so that's like a estoy viviendo. For vivir, you get rid of the IR and add endo. So I'm living in Spain. Or estoy llevando una camisa roja, I'm wearing a red shirt. Very basic, just mostly it's conjugating a star and then the infinitive. And there are also other exceptions to this. So, for example, if a verb in the preterite has a double stem change, so pedir has this I here, so it would be like el pedio, if you learned the preterite already. If you didn't learn it, go watch my video on it up there. But essentially, that's why this would be I in the pidiendo. It's not just, it's not pediendo with an E. It is not that. It's with an I. Same with morir. And other verbs that end in U, I, R, and sometimes A, E, R, use a Y. So, uir is uyendo, trier is triendo. It's not ando or yendo, like these two. Same with country or industrious. Just definitely remember that. Here are some other irregulars. Ear is an important one. Is just yendo. So, it's like a estoy yendo. Here are ser and a star. You don't really use those, though. And an example of a reflexive verb, so el se esta cepillando los dientes. He is brushing his teeth. He's currently brushing his teeth. That's why you use the present progressive tense. Here are some other regulars. And one thing to point out is that you have verbs like desir, it's diciendo, and predesir. You see that desir is inside of it, so that'd be prediciendo, and you still keep the I. Yeah. And then ver is also a viendo. But getting into the past progressive or el pasado progressivo tense, it's essentially the exact same thing as all of this. However, it's just a star is in the past tense. So it's an action that happened. And it could be in the, or a star can be in the preterite or the imperfect conjugated. However, the version with the imperfect is significantly more common. I rarely hear the preterite one. So here are the conjugations of a star in the imperfect. Yo estaba, tu estabas, el estaba. Nosotros estábamos with the accent. Vosotros estabais. And ellos, ellas, y ustedes estaban. So here's an example. Estabas haciendo la tarea cuando llegué. You were doing the homework when I arrived. So while, basically while you're doing the homework, you're doing the homework at the time I arrived. So it's use this tense to say while something was happening this other thing was happening so in the past an ongoing action and then now what you did so there's another example estaba caminando muy rapido i was walking very fast and you can also add something like estaba caminando muy rapido y de repente un oso vino or that mean, and that would mean and suddenly a bear came and literally, that is the entire past progressive tense. You're basically fluent in it now. If you want a more in-depth look at the original present progressive tense, I have another video up on it. But that is literally it for the past progressive tense. It's that simple and easy. Thanks for watching. See ya.